All right, everyone, welcome back once again to this Beefcast production. I am your casting host, Beef. And today we're bringing you some more games. Today is a ZVT coming out of IPL Hot Import Nights. And let's get right into it. Here on Daybreak, in the bottom left-hand position, we do have the Red Zerg, one of the GSL champions and all around one of the best players out there right now. It is MVP's Dongregu. And in the top right-hand corner, we do have his opponent, the Blue Terran, the son of Boxer. He is Slayer's MMA. So, like I mentioned, this is from uh, Hot Import Nights, put on by IPL, just last month in July, taking place down at the LA Auto Show. I actually wanted to get out there, but I had a, a family event to attend to, so I wasn't able to get there. Kind of unfortunate. And I actually have not had an opportunity to watch these games yet, which is why I'm kind of casting them, because I'm as eager as you are to see what happened. So, it's a pretty a cool event that they uh, were able to put on down there. Not exactly the uh, typical StarCraft event there at a car show, but they uh, seem to do pretty well for themselves. And now we get to watch the game, so that's going to be pretty cool. So let's take a look at the builds here. We do have uh, MMA not looking like he's doing anything too weird right now. Nothing, No uh, no SCVs coming out right now for anything like a double proxy Rex, anything like that. DRG is going to be dropping a hatchery first, and MMA actually saving up quite a bit of minerals as well. Looks like he's actually going to go command center first. And yeah, there goes the command center right down at the low ground. So command center first before barracks. Very, uh, very economic minded play there by MMA. SCV going to be pulled off of the building to try to put a little bit of damage onto that probe. And the drone actually is going to be able to get the kill on the SCV. A little bit sloppy play there for uh, MMA. Or excuse me, for, yeah, MMA. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's going to happen. Back at home, the uh, Zerg user is going to be just droning up as hard as possible. Going to be dropping, it looks like, a third hatch before spawning pool. So, yeah. Lots of greed going on in this game. This is pretty much the ZVP, or excuse me, ZVT metagame at its finest. Both players playing extremely greedy. And so DRG will, of course, follow this up with a spawning pool pretty soon here so that he's going to be able to get his queens out. Queen's going to be the primary defensive unit for the Zerg player. And the drone actually still able to get in there and do a little bit more harassment. Still being able to waste up some SCV time. Managed to get in there and spot both those barracks. And I believe that he even spots that there was no gas. Yeah. No gas being taken quite yet. Uh, natural finishing up right now for DRG. We'll see if he is going to be moving any drones down there. Taking any early gases of his own. Doesn't look like it right now. And that uh, hero drone with his one kill actually able to make it all the way back home. Uh, orbital commands, two of them morphing right now for MMA. So, very cool. Going to be able to get his econ going up with double mules very quickly. I would not be surprised to see a third command center coming down for MMA. Um, as I said, greed is the name of the game in this uh, metagame currently for this matchup. So, we'll see. And third is finishing up for DRG right now. Going to be making queens out of... Both of those hatcheries would not be surprised to see a queen coming out of that one, trying to get up to that four or six queen count as soon as possible. Uh, but it looks like DRG has actually gone early gas, which is something that is not part of the standard metagame right now for Zerg. You can typically defend without gas or army-based units um, up to like 60 or 70 drones, depending on the amount of aggression that's put on by your opponent. I guess DRG may be thinking that MMA is a highly aggressive player, does like to make use of his excellent micro, um, sort of like Marine King. Very similar players there. So he might be trying to put on some early aggression. So he wants to be able to have gas for a Baneling Nest or for early speed. So we'll see how that does end up working out right now. And DRT is going to see that there are going to be a lot of units coming in right now. And a bunker being placed here at the edge of the creek for the Marines to fall back off. But right now they're just going to be putting in some hot shots on this hatchery right now. 20 Zerglings in production for our Zerg player. Queen is going to be coming out relatively soon. Uh, the Zerglings are going to be waiting until they can get all together. Two additional Queens along with a total of three SCVs and eight Zerglings. Going to be able to snipe the SCV on that bunker. Very nice shot by our Zerg player. Additional Zerglings are going to be coming in. Zergling speed has started. But uh, the bunker is cancelled, and that's the end of this aggression for now. Did have to bring 
uh, queens from both his main and his natural. Did have to walk across this no creep space, which is kind of unfortunate, but nothing too much that you're going to be able to do about that. Roach Warren actually being placed by DRG right now. And that is once again something that is completely not standard in this metagame. Uh, the Roach Warren is going to be not for a defense against Hellions. It's pretty unlikely that there's going to be a Hellion follow up to this, but it is likely going to be for a bust. Those Roaches, along with uh, Zerkings are going to be able to provide the DPS that they need to deal with any kind of early defense from a Terran player. With that amount of Marines coming out, it's pretty likely that uh, Factory is going to be delayed, which it was, and there's not going to be able to be any Siege tanks out with the uh, current greedy metagame going on. So this uh, this Roach all-in, essentially, or pressure, whatever you want to call it, it's going to have a pretty good chance of succeeding. The uh, Zerglings will be able to make their way, way up there and going to actually manage to snipe a bunker. It's a little bit unfortunate that DRG wasn't able to sneak those Zerglings into one of the mineral lines, but he does want to hold on to them for the Roach production that is coming up. There is a total of 10 Roaches coming out right now with another large swath of Zerglings going to be following this up. Let's take a look at the army count. All the way up to uh, 45 drones, so a pretty low amount of drones for being on four bases, right about the amount that you're looking at if you're going to be putting on three base pressure. So one SCV is going to be coming out here just to try to look and see what's going on, but the Zerglings are saying, nope, not a chance. You're not getting anywhere near that. I don't want you to see how many lings I have. I don't want you to be able to see the roaches, but the roaches do expose themselves now. The Zerglings can be trying to get up the ramp right now and get a beautiful surround, and they do actually get that entire surround. The roaches are going to be able to put on the pressure that they need on the Marines, but right now, back at the base, the bunker is not even completed yet. There was a bunker that was sniped earlier by DRG. The Zerglings trying to get in there once again, and they are actually going to be able to clean up that bunker. Roaches and Zerglings are going to be pouring in right now, and this is looking really bad for MMA. The Zerglings are able to get a nice surround there on the SCVs. The roaches are just going to be picking up. One, and one at a time. And right now, MMA's entire army consists of just these four Marines. It is not looking good. Dancing the Marines and Roaches back and forth. Getting that swagger on, dear. The Rotter going to be coming out right now, but it is not going to matter. There's absolutely nothing to stop this army from DRG, and MMA calls GG. All right, so that was a uh, fast game. A little bit not what I was expecting or used to. Um, but very nice play out of DRG, taking advantage of the uh, greed of his opponent, something that Terran really has to do right now. They either have to do damage with early aggression, or they have to be very greedy, which leaves us there large opportunities for trying to really get in there and see what they can do. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I've been Beef, your uh, host. Make sure to check me out on YouTube, youtube.com slash beefpotpie1. And uh, stay tuned for more replays. We'll catch you guys next time.